Hey party people! I'm at Disney World in Disney Springs and I actually have Ross, Claire, and Sands with me. They're way over there in the line. You probably can't even see them. But we're about to go to the Lego store here. This is my favorite Lego store in the world. New York was really cool too, but this one tops it. Been here for a full week. I'm kind of exhausted. We did Disney every single day. Magic Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, Epcot, and then Animal Kingdom. Today's Friday and we're finally making the time to go to Disney Springs to check out the Lego store here. There's really good pick a brick pieces all over the country right now. So I'm really hoping that's the case here as well. Except I'm a little bit worried because since it's such a big touristy Lego store, any good pieces are probably gone, which sucks. So hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully they have some awesome pieces. But it's also just really cool seeing all the different displays here because this store is like a museum. It's beautiful every single time. And so whenever we're in Florida, I always want to check it out. But anyways, I kind of need to like run back over there because Ross, Claire, and Sands are about to go in. There's like a huge line, which is nuts. So my ears are going to fall off if I run too hard. Hey, Ross. Hi. Hi, Sands. Hi, Claire. It's really hot. We gotta put sunscreen just to wait in line to get in the Lego store. And I'm not planning on spending too much money today unless there's really good pieces on the wall. As well as trying to get into that minifig factory thing that they have here where you like design your own minifigure. I'm pretty sure it's full but we'll see if there's room. But we do have some space in our suitcase because we planned ahead. We knew we would go shopping. So we might buy something. We'll see. Pabbers. I'm here for Pab. Strictly. Guys look there's a cloud blocking the sun. Yay. Yay. We made it in, finally. That was like a 10 minute wait, not too bad, but very hot outside. We're gonna go check out the minifig factory to see if we can get a spot. I kind of doubt it because they're very busy, but we will see. He got his minifig box, he's happy. But he's gonna go design that. I'm gonna look at pieces and then maybe shop around a little bit. It's pretty loud and busy here. I thought it'd be maybe a little bit less crowded since there's such a long line and they're regulating it so much. I literally just got back to the pick a brick wall and Ross is on the floor here stacking up on bricks. What did you find? Um. I figured these could be useful for some buildings. That there's uh, there's not a lot, so I just uh, cleaned them out. There you go. Those over there filling up a cup. Ross found these here. They had them at the Lego store when I was there, but I never picked any up because I wasn't sure what to do with them. But Ross has already filled up a bit of the space in the cup with them. Gotta do the donkey swirl, you know? His iced coffee. And I actually just noticed these pieces. They don't have them at our Lego store, but it's like the one by two. I don't even know what this would be. A plate with like a little knobby thing at the end. But I figured it'd be kind of nice for like a park bench or something. Like clip something to the end of it. Because that's what I'm working on right now in Uptown Ladyburg. What did you find? Did you get these pieces? I didn't. This is a piece I never think about getting, but I always need. So I'll get some of that. That's kind of nice. Okay. So yeah, while Ross is doing that, let me show you everything on the pick a brick wall because there's some really interesting pieces as well as some that are, you know, maybe not as interesting. Oh, that's cute. The heart tiles. That's fun. So yeah, they have some of these red one by two slopes, which are kind of nice. And then these orangey ones, I don't even know what you call them, but I definitely don't need those in my collection. I have so many in white. These are the pieces Ross just showed you as well with like the knobby things on the end. They have a bunch of these light blue snot bricks that I actually have a lot of at home for mock building. They have this here. Look at these purple pieces, but more importantly, there's a chicken in the back here. Is this fair game? Can we grab this chicken? I'm not sure if it's supposed to be here, but it's in the bin. I kind of I kind of want it. I don't I don't know. I'll figure that out later. But anyways, they have some dots here and cheese slips here. One by one plates, one by two orange brick. I always have trouble finding two by two bricks on the pink brick wall though. Those are the ones that you really want for mills. You can always like just put two of these next to each other, but I feel like two by two bricks are just so much better. There's some green plates here that are kind of nice. If these were in a different color, like the darker green, I would definitely pick some up. Some coral pieces. I heard rumor that this color was retiring soon, but I have no idea if that's true. Some more orange, but in two by two plates, they have these like yellowy slopey dudes. These are kind of neat though. I have a bunch of these in white. I'm not sure what you could do with these, but I kind of like them, like maybe for corn or something. I'm not really sure. These are nice. I got a bunch of those actually we are fully stocked on pieces right now like it's kind of wild what i need to be focusing on right now is more like storage solutions because we have a ton of pieces that still need to be sorted oh check these out these are kind of fun these black ones i don't even know what you would do with it but it's kind of neat seeing just something different on the wall red slopey dudes and then black slopey dudes kind of fun these are neat. I don't know what to do with it. It just reminds me of like Disney Princess or Friend sets because I feel like a lot of these were in the Little Mermaid Disney Princess castle from a few years ago. I just don't need them. 
These are kind of neat pieces too, these black jumpers. I like that a lot. I don't know how I would use that, but it's kind of fun to see that here. They also have these great and red, oh God. But then something a little bit more exciting are these fence pieces. I found these at the Austin Lego store and I grabbed a bunch of them, so I don't need any today, but it's kind of cool seeing so many still here. I found a chicken. Toss it in. Wee. <laughs> These are so nice too, these one by two profile bricks. I, I call don't know. them the poor man's masonry brick. That's my new saying, early bird gets the masonry brick. Cause if you get here too late, there's no more masonry bricks. And then over here, we get a little bit more fun pieces. So we have some fire, we have some stars. We have some clear window pieces, or I don't even know what these are. They're like Whoa. in front sets a lot of the time, but. Oh, that's a good piece, I'm gonna grab that. Yeah, okay, Ross wants these. We're gonna get some of those. I also really like these clippy things like this and you can attach it onto something like this. That would be perfect. So yeah, we're going to grab some of that today. Are there today. any bars? Just bars? Like lightsaber bars or something like that? We have them in blue at home. Okay, because they have a lot of flags, but no like bars to put it on. So yeah, Ross, make sure to get a bunch of those as well as these for furniture. That would be cool. They have some black plates, which is kind of nice. They're just very basic, but so useful. And then green plates as well. It's lime green and I kind of hate that color, honestly. I just really like the dark green so much better. They have spider webs, good for Halloween. And then these are kind of fun too, these gold like windy looking pieces. Those are pretty neat. I like those a lot. This is neat too. I haven't seen these on the wall in a very long time. I feel like it's for a car build. I'm not actually sure. I don't know what it is. I'm going to put it back. These would be useful as well for furniture builds, so I might grab some of these. They have the corn pieces. Like these are often in like the Lego city sets to represent corn. They have some closed eyeballs. And they still have some two by four white tiles as well as these tracks of some sort. I don't really know how you would use them, but they have a lot of them still here, which is kind of surprising. They have windshields and clear. And then this is another one where I'm like, what do you do with it? But I kind of want it. There are these trans blue discs. I'm not sure how else to describe it, but we might pick up a few just to see what we can do with it. I'm not really sure. Some wagon wheels, that's kind of fun. I'd probably grab a few bones today if we didn't already have a full little bucket of them at home. I really want to do something fun with it for Halloween or for the dog park. Yeah, we're not even halfway through the wall. It's actually so good today. I'm really shocked. I didn't think they would have anything good. Normally it's just like dots and like little flower pieces, which are cool, but I don't need them. You know, they have these black, flowery looking pieces. I think they're meant for car hoods, but they really remind me of like the red pieces from the Lego roses. I don't know what you would do with it, but it's kind of neat. They also have some tan plates, green plates, red plates. I feel like this is a Dr. Seuss book at this point. Some white fences. Oh wait, I spoke too soon. They actually do have some two by two bricks here. That's pretty sweet. We might pick some of those up today for Mills. That would be awesome. Yellow plates, blue plates, some of these like neon yellow ones. They're kind of blinding, right? I don't know if that shows up on camera, but my eyes hurt. They also have these green ones that look like they should glow in the dark, but they don't. Red flags, you know? That's funny. That's actually really funny. Some clear snots up here. I have a bunch of these actually, otherwise I would be picking more up. I feel like it'd be good for like greenery, you know, like along our brick wall to stick some green pieces onto it and kind of like hide the clear. Because if it's colored, then you definitely see it through unless if it matches the wall completely. Oh, that's kind of fun. They have blue flags up there as well. They have these ball pieces that Ross was thinking about getting, but I told him we have quite a few of them at home. So we don't need them right now at least. They have these clear pieces that are kind of fun. And then the minifig heads that you can use on top of light posts to make it look like, you know, the lanterns are lit. That's kind of nice. These are great too. I don't know how I would use them besides just like building up a wall or something, but they look so good. It's actually grown to be one of my favorite colors. I don't know why I like the nougaty ones so much, but they're just very easy to work with. They're kind of fun to look at. Oh, and then these are cool. These little white discs for like umbrella stands or something. Claire's still going for it. Yeah, the wall is fully stacked at Disney Springs. I did not expect to see this here. This is kind of nuts. Honestly, I'm really blown away right now. If we didn't have limited space, we would buy a lot more than like one or two cups. Wait, are, is this? I just found more pieces. This is insane. They have more light posts, it looks like, unless if these are people's cups, but like they had those at our Austin Lego store and I stocked up. They're so nice. It's gonna look really good once we add them to the city. The, do you have the other one? Oh, okay, so those three on the end are Ross's and I assume these two or three are Claire's. Okay, well anyways, while they're looking at figure pieces, I'm gonna look around and see what kind of sets they have here because the Disney store always has way more Disney stuff, which is really fun. Okay, this whole area makes me so happy. Oh my goodness, I love the new Disney castle. I haven't even finished building it yet because I've been so busy and traveling, but isn't this just incredible, the minifigs? 
made me cry. When we built Cinderella and Prince Charming here, I was crying. I was so happy. Hot take, I like this one more than the current one, but they both have a special place in my heart. I just love the colors a little bit more here. And in Hocus Pocus, I am so excited to build this one and add it to the city, hopefully, because in our city, we have an A-frame cabin in our like foresty area. And I think it'd be really cool to like replace the A-frame cabin with the Hocus Pocus set. I think it's kind of like the same vibe. It's still a cabin. And with Halloween coming up, how fun would it be to have all these spooky details? I'm excited. I think it'll look good. This is really fun too. They have a ton of the mini Disney castle, the haunted mansion, and then the Disney Brickheads over here. There's like actually a ton of them. Kind of wild. Okay, wait, last time I was here, they had a giant Hulk. This is incredible. This is brand new. I have not seen this yet. I mean, I guess it's, you know, it's not super new because like the bottom's kind of dirty, but look at Spider-Man. He looks good. I am so happy with this. This is such a cool display. I'm going to get a picture with it later. But there's even the camera stuck in the web up there. This is all brick built, like even this door area. It's kind of windy, it's loud, I'm so sorry. But that is so cool, wow. So now we're gonna check out Friends, obviously, right? It's all of our favorite Lego themes. So this is actually the staff pick of the week. It's a giant Lego Friends build. And like, there's a gear in the back and it makes this area move, this spins around, this goes up and down. Like, it's actually engineered so beautifully. If you're able to see it in person, like, check it out. I really wanna build this. I've never been so excited to build a Friends set before, but like, here's what the box looks like. I'm gonna build this soon. It's it's incredible. It's so good. And then looking at the rest of the friend sets, there's one set that I do want to purchase pretty soon. I got a comment in my most recent LEGO City update saying that in my food truck slash like food court area, I have a pancake stand and how cool would it be to expand it? So I'm thinking I might actually do that. It's only like a $10 little set. It's super cheap, super cute. And just expand this little pancake shop to be like double the size of what it already is. I do think it would look better. So maybe I'll actually pick that up today. It's $10. It's nothing crazy, but I want it. And then I have a bunch more Disney stuff over here. The giant castle, the little mermaid, the giant Duplo as well. I kind of want this. It's really cute. It's only $100 and you get three in one, which is kind of just cool. I don't know. I feel like I could do something really fun with it. So we'll see if I ever actually pick it up. And then they have Minecraft over here. Ross has been so into Minecraft lately. He's been working on his second video on anti sets for like over a month. He is so pumped about all of it. And he just really loves the sets. He loves the minifigures. So I'm excited to see how his content turns out. I'll link up his first video in the cards for you guys. So definitely subscribe to him. And then Star Wars over here. They have so many Star Wars sets. This is actually really cool. I actually haven't even seen this new Young Jedi set yet in person. I actually, I don't remember when it came out. So let me know in the comments. I assume July 1st, maybe. Well, look how cute little Yoda is. I love that. He looks adorable. All the minifigs in this look pretty cool. So I want to pick that up eventually. And then looking at Ninjago and Marvel. So check this one out here. I loved the new Guardians of the Galaxy movie. I thought it was so good. It was so funny. And it was a good ending to the Guardians movies. I love that it comes with this guy in it, Adam Warlock. I liked his character. He was kind of funky. So I'm excited to see like what they do going forward with him. But the set itself looks pretty cool. I kind of like it. Oh, here it is built actually. I was joking in a previous video, like I could use it for a collar for Ladybird. I think she would really like that. She would be thrilled. Then over here, we have a bunch of the Disney brick heads along with like Star Wars. It's like, you know, the Disney umbrella of brick heads. You can see the new Obi-Wan Kenobi brick heads here, Obi-Wan and Vader, the Tusken Raider. That's kind of fun. Ahsoka. Oh, here we go. You can actually see them all on display up top. The Ewok is actually really cute. I kind of want that. Like, real bad. Yeah, all of these brickheads are so fun. I'm happy I collected Disney ones and that I started when I did because if I started right now, it'd be way too expensive. They made a Mickey and Minnie a while ago and I think the duo now is like 200, 250. Whereas when I got it, it was 100. I found Sans working on his mini thing. How'd you get in here? I asked politely. Unacceptable. <laughs> Stop showing on that. It looks really good. It's, it's beautiful. Wait, I want to show it! I'm not appreciative of this. He asked me to leave. He was embarrassed. I found my husband. There you are. Hi! I got another cup. Aw, oh, good job. Wow, look at that. They have all of the mini Disney castles. Isn't that fun? There's so many here. This was so hard to find for like a year. A year solid. I could not find this. It's crazy seeing like a hundred on this table right now. Wow, this is so pretty too. They have this same display at the Austin Lego store, but Hocus Pocus with all the spooky trees around it looks amazing. This makes me so happy. I really want to build this like so bad. So I was actually working on the Hocus Pocus set a few nights ago and it looks so good built. Like I can't wait. I really want to build that when I get home. Ross likes the new Spider-Man build. 
We always like looking for our names on these cups here, but they never have Ross. Emily and Emma, just in case. Okay, this is the El Dorado Fortress. This is my first time, I think, seeing it in person. Maybe I have seen it at another Lego store already. I'm really stoked about it. I really, really want this set. I think it'd look really nice on my shelf. So maybe for Christmas or next double VIP, I can convince Emily to let me get it. Yay! But there's some other things on my list. August 1st is coming, so I don't know. I, it's, it's hectic. Maybe Santa will bring it for him this year for Christmas. Maybe. Ross is checking out already. They're doing a good quick purchase right now. Here it is up close. It's a 12 in one creativity pack, and I really like the little ice cream pop there. But for $20 more, I really just don't need it. But it is really cute. They also have a winter elf scene free gift with purchase with 170 or more. This one came out last December, I believe. This has to be the most recent one, I'm pretty sure, because the one before that had the weird brick built reindeer. It is really cute. Like if you are spending 170 or more around this time and you want to get something kind of fun for your winter display, this is a good option. It is a really cute one. But for us today, we were only spending 60, so we would have to spend $20 more for that like 12 in one set. Oh. Or, or like an extra $120 for that one. And it's just not worth it. Santa's still doing a minifigure maker thing, and then I think we'll be ready to go. I'm excited to show you everything we got. While we're waiting for Sans, I found this really cute little replay display kind of thing. It's like all these bricks falling down into here, so I guess like pieces that fall on the floor maybe kids can play with them. I'm not exactly sure, but then down here, this is kind of adorable. It's like these two little things. I'm not, I think it's a roller coaster. I, I actually think it's a roller coaster. I'm not exactly sure, but it's cute. Look how happy he looks. I've been going to Disney World with him every day for four days, and that's the first time I've seen him smile. Sans looks really happy. He's making his chicken night. <laughs> He's so happy. Thank you. Have a good day. We just left the Lego store. I got stuff. We'll do a haul in a little bit. We just got to World of Disney. I need to return some stuff, but also kind of want to look around. We looked around for a little bit. We returned this stuff, but now it's about to rain. Apparently Ross is like really worried about the rain. So Florida. yeah, it's Florida. So we're going to go find somewhere else to go. I want to go to the co-op because they have like all the cute dresses and like random stuff there. It's kind of fun. But Ross and Sans want to go see Star Wars. <laughs> It is so hot and humid in Florida right now. This is absolutely crazy. I grew up in Orlando and I'm still not used to it. This is wild. But anyways, we went shopping. We had some snackies at the Indiana Jones themed restaurant. And now we're checking out the Star Wars store here. They have a lot of really cute merch and ears. So it's kind of fun seeing all the different stuff. I was here at Disney six months ago, so a lot of it's an overlap, but there's a lot of new stuff as well. Oh, Ross just left, there he is. I'm just gonna follow him. So yeah, now we're going to the Marvel store and then I think we're heading back to Claire and Sam's place. We might do a little pool day as well. I wanna go to the pool. Yeah, it's real hot. I'm like so sweaty, it's gross. But yeah, we got a few things. I'll show you. We might not do like a car haul, but we'll do some sort of like Claire and Sam's house haul. Okay, I think we're going home now. We just got back from Disney Springs. We were there for a lot longer than I thought we would be. I think we got there at around two and we left at seven. So we were there for essentially five hours, which is kind of insane. But we had a really good time. We went to a bunch of the shops as well as the Lego store. Now, when we were at the Lego store, Ross was the one picking out most of the pieces. And I'm not sure exactly what he had in mind for these. I picked out some of them, but for the most part, he has a much better idea of what he actually wants to use these for. So I'm gonna grab him. Ross, come over here. All right, I am hot and sweaty and sunburned. My toe hurts and I'm chafing in some spots, so let's do this. I'm also sunburned. Emily is also sunburned. First off, I got some of these clippy pieces and some of those pieces as I go on the clippy pieces, as well as these one by three bricks. A lot of white in this theme. They had a lot of white bricks, so I went with it. There's also these window pieces. I'll show you more of those in a minute. Some of these ladders, and they had some interesting jumpers. 
I feel like I should have got more of them. It's those one by three jumper plates with the two spots in the middle. Uh, probably regret not getting more of those. Got a few mixel joints here, you know, got to mix it up a bit. And then these, you heard me earlier refer to these as the poor man's masonry brick. I'm also thinking about coining the term early bird gets the masonry brick because apparently the Lego store here does get masonry bricks every now and then and they are gone in like the first 30 minutes the store is open. So we had to settle for these little log things. I'm very interested to use these in buildings, but I just feel like it's all gonna look like logs. Then I also got a lot of these weird clear two by one pieces that I think I can make into nice looking windows. I have to use some interesting snot techniques, but I'm excited to try it. Over here, more of the poor man's masonry bricks, as well as this weird little rocket piece and a chicken that somehow snuck in there. I don't know how that happened. And last, I saw a few of these left. There wasn't a lot left here, but it was that angled little window piece there. So I grabbed as much of those as I could, as well as these little cone terrace things. And really, I'm just going for things I can use to make different custom buildings because I really want to make some customized buildings. And I think that this Lego store had a lot of good pieces to build like at least one cool cohesive piece, right? We got the grays, the whites, a little bit of gold. I don't know if the brown will make sense in there, but I'm excited for it. Anyways, this has been your Daily Dose of Ross. Have a good one. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the Ross portion of the haul. I also bought some Disney stuff while we were there that I wanted to show you. We actually bought some matchy matchy stuff that was on sale. We got this shirt here for Ross. It has Goofy all over it. It's a button up kind of like athletic-y fabric. And I thought he'd be cute in it, plus it was on sale, so we went for it. And then I really doubt that we'll ever actually do like a matchy matchy thing because it's like a little extreme, but I got the matchy matchy Goofy dress. <laughs> I think it's really cute and I was so excited the first time I saw it, but it's like $120. However, it was 30% off plus like 20% annual pass discount. And it's really good material, so I'm hoping I have it for a while. I don't know, it just made me really happy, so I splurged a little bit on that. And then being from Florida, I saw the spirit jersey and I was so excited. Plus I just really like them, they're so cozy and it's like a little orange bird on it. And then on the back, it says spread in the sunshine, so. I thought that was cute. I liked it. We got some other stuff throughout the week at the parks, but that's all upstairs. This is everything we got at Disney Springs though. We've been in Orlando since Sunday night and I am absolutely exhausted. We did so much while we've been here. We did all four parks, Disney Springs, and we got to hang out with our friends, Claire and Sam. So that's been so much fun. Tomorrow, I think we're gonna be doing a pool day. So I'm excited to just kind of relax a little bit, even though I'm kind of sunburnt. So we'll see how that goes. If you guys haven't seen it yet, I do have a second channel now, Emily K, where it'll be more like lifestyle kind of non-lego vlogs and I've been having a lot of fun with it. I have two videos up there so far. It's kind of like my secret channel. I'm not going to advertise it like that much but if you do enjoy vlog content definitely go check that out and I will have a Disney vlog from like our whole Disney trip up there pretty soon if it's not there already by the time this video comes up. I'll link it up in the cards for you guys. It's just something like a little fun and taking on on the side. Anyways y'all we had a really good time at the lego store today. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye!